Welcome back guys to a channel update vlog. Two months since the last one in March, new games have come and new games have finished on the channel or in the process of finishing as Final Fantasy VIII with Omega Weapon added on in a YouTube special episode, in a sense, has been done and done. And Final Fantasy VII Remake came to an end on the stream this past Sunday. So the last episodes of that are now streaming out here on YouTube day by day. With more content on that to come because there's still some kind of like after game stuff for me to do. But oh, what a game. I feel bad for myself that I cannot play like that again and experience it for a first time again in a sense. And I so want to speak so much about it and I want to talk to people about it. But then I, of course, don't really want to spoil... Uh, like, for example, the original game, for people who haven't played the original game, who might want to play it now because they played Final Fantasy VII Remake, or they've seen Final Fantasy VII Remake, so... Oh... It is... Oh, I loved it. I loved every second of it. But, with those games ending, that leaves the Wednesday and the Sunday slot free now, as we continue on this month of May. So what are we doing? Apart from, obviously, dating the time here. Let's put it that way. What are we doing next? So Wednesday, I was thinking we'd do something a little bit different in terms of the fact that we do quite a lot of JRPGs around the place. We've just hit two Final Fantasy games and I do actually want to play some more Final Fantasy games in the future but might have a little, little break again. We'll never know how long those little breaks will be because of course the break from Xenoblade Chronicles 1 to Xenoblade Chronicles X has been quite a while but we continue that on the Saturday. What will Wednesday be then? Not a JRPG. I've decided to pick a list from games that I was previously interested in, in the past and have never got round to play because of course this is this is the season. Let's put it that way. Less game releases come out around this time that are like bang on and interesting for me. I get to play a lot of games that I meant to play in like a backlog way back, which is of course why we've done stuff like Luigi's Mansion for, and the entire series of that for palette cleansing. And it's always good to get your palette cleansed so you can appreciate JRPGs a little bit more from time to time. So, we are playing a game that released on Nintendo Switch not too long back, a few years back isn't it now, a couple of years? Oh god, I don't know the exact release date, let's put it that way. But it is a platformer that is very, very charming and very, very heavily run in the speedrunning side of things. I'm going to be playing Celeste, climbing a mountain with platforming craziness going on. So hopefully, considering this is a little bit of a different taste of games that I've done in the past, of course, usually I'd probably go to like something like a Metroidvania at this point, but no, we're going for a straight pure platformer, puzzler, and count how many times I fall to my utter demise, isn't it? I've caught, I've not seen the game played through, so of course it is again a first blind playthrough. I've of course know of the game though, and know of like its following and its speed running and stuff like that. But uh, it'll be interesting to play it myself and see the story that goes alongside it. So that is the Wednesday stream, a nice one to take on the next couple of weeks and then decide what to play after that. The Saturday stream continues with Xenoblade Chronicles X, but now it's the Sunday stream we're looking at because I saw like a gap between maybe something else as an opportunity and wanted to fill that couple of weeks gap. Now it might actually end up going past a certain, let's put it this way, date that I'd like to maybe start this on. So I might start the project in the future a little bit later, like a week late or so, but I could end up finishing another project by doing this game this Sunday and the preceding Sundays after and finishing off a series of localized games thus far. What do I mean by that? Of course I mean we're going back to East yet again. East 7. Adol's adventure continues in his first 3D outing with free party members. So this is the birth of kind of like the modern system that we kind of saw in Mem Memories of Zelseta and Lacrimosa of Dana, East 8. Interestingly enough East 7 is the only game that's literally East 7 doesn't have like any kind of like extra words after it so it's just E7 doesn't give you any more kind of explanation than that oh for Felgana it doesn't tell you anything at all but just E7 where we will get to play three party members and one of those party members is someone we've never got to play as before so good times for me we're finishing off Adel series and that will lead us into by the looks of it it'll take two probably more like three weeks according to how East games generally go. Which will lead us into the release of another Nintendo Switch title. 
which we have covered before, and I'm not covering the entire game again, but I'm wondering if I could maybe pick up the game to play the extra little bits on the end that you can jump into straight away, and you know what I mean by this at this point in time, don't you? I'm talking about Xenoblade Chronicles Original, Definitive Edition, Extra Content, the stuff with Shulk and Melia added on to kind of add a little bit more story, or maybe tie it into the overall universe even more, considering Xenoblade Chronicles 2. So we'll see how that plays out. But that, that is the future of the channel. I hope you're all doing well through these last few months. These are interesting times, challenging times. But hopefully, you know, I've kept chucking on, I've kept running on. Hopefully, in some respects, the videos that people have been putting out on YouTube have kept you company. A little bit. And the streams and the whatnot and the communities that come on there. So you can come by the stream and join in the community if you want. But that is our schedule for the next couple of weeks. We'll be playing Celeste on Wednesday. Which is, of course, about an hour after this vlog goes up, by the way. So if you want to come along to the stream after you've seen this vlog, why not? We'll be doing Celeste tonight. We'll be doing Xenoblade Chronicles X continuing for many, many a week on Saturday. And E7 on Sunday, finishing off Idol's Adventure, and they may, may be going into the double Xenoblade with Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition extra content after that. So hopefully, you'll join me then. I'll see you next time for another channel update vlog and yet more content rolling on the YouTube. Have a great one, guys. Bye-bye.